Okay, here we are at the next chapter of the Tamiya versus Monogram Miami Vice Ferrari Testarossa comparison. This time we'll be looking at the tire, wheels and tires and some seat modifications. Okay, here we have both sets of wheels and tires. The Tamiya, the Monogram. Now we look at the Tamiya. They are very nicely cast. Not too heavy on the chrome. Matter of fact, it might be a little too light on the chrome. It found it chips very easily. But a much more realistic looking wheel. This wouldn't even have to be painted, dechromed and painted. Very, very nice representation of it. And the tires have a very clear tread pattern. Very well engraved. And they have, uh, let's see if we can focus on that. Let's see if we can bring that in. Can't really get a good shot of it. But they are also marked as Michelin TRX. So they're actually a real name brand tire. And most importantly, like the real car, they are staggered sizes. The rear is being wider than the fronts. So not only are they very well made, very realistic looking. A real name brand. And the wheels chromed nicely. Not too heavy, but a very realistic finish. Now we come to the monogram. To say it's disappointing is going easy on them. They're a two-piece wheel, which explains the lack of brake calipers and rotors on the car itself. They are not staggered. Front and rears are exactly the same size. A little too heavily chromed. Doesn't exactly fit the scale of the vehicle. And then the tires. Now, while they are Name brand Goodyear tires with a decent tread pattern with a little sanding down to give it a realistic appearance. They are all exactly the same size. No staggering of the sizes for all four tires. That is a big no-no in my book as it is part of what will give the car its proper stance when viewed from different angles. So here, the clear winner is Tamiya. With a great set of wheels and tires. The only detraction I can say is that the chrome might be a little too light, which gives it more of a realistic appearance, but you can also see a little bit of the color of the original plastic showing through. But even as they are, they'll look great on the car. So, wheels and tires, Tamir for the win. Now we're looking at the seats. Previously, I made note that there were no seat covers on the rear of these seats. And at first I was going to leave them alone, but that really started to bug me. So, I have made inserts for the back of the seats. These are the Tamiyas. And these are the monograms. So that they will be full seats. Right now they're drying and then they will be filled. Sanded down. So that they appear as one solid seat. Something that needed to be corrected on both cars. I really wasn't happy with it. Probably a detail no one but me will know is there. But I was not going to be happy with that. So it's getting done. So there they both kind of blew it. But on the wheels, definitely a win for Tamiya. All right. And that's the continuing saga. I'll see you guys on the next one.